What is up everybody? I have been doing alternate day fasting for 21 days. And if you want to see my transformation, make sure you stick at the end uh, to see my 21 day alternate day intermittent fasting uh, transformation. But I'll just pop up my two week transformation right here so you guys can see that alternate day fasting, uh, inter alternate day intermittent fasting is magic. If you want to know more about what alternate day intermittent fasting is or how to get started or whatever, I have a video that I made last week about a one week uh, alternate day intermittent fasting check-in, which I will link for you guys. Essentially, it's just an extended intermittent fast. So instead of working, eating, fasting for 16 hours and eating for eight, um, you fast for about 36 to 40 hours and then eat for like eight to 10. So I typically fast for 40 hours and eat for eight. Fast for 40 hours, eat for eight. So I stop eating dinner one day, I don't eat it all the next day, and the next day I break my fast around noon. There's some flexibility with it obviously, like if I'm feeling really, like at like 9.30 p.m. when I'm watching uh, Tiger King with my partner, I'm going to, um, and if I'm craving um, like a snack, I, I'll have it. Or if I wanna break my fast with uh, like a chocolate chai tea latte that I make, um, I have that at like 10.30 or 11, like there's some flexibility with it. Essentially my main goal with alternate day intermittent fasting is just to um, control my, my food better just because when we're staying at home all the time it's easy to overeat and um, I'm also, I hate working out at home. I live in downtown Mexico City and yeah, walking around in my neighborhood can be uh, difficult sometimes. So I'm just kind of, I don't really have any options for physical exercise. I'm already very acclimatized to the fasting life. I have done um, intermittent fasting for over a year. I've been plant -based, predominantly plant-based keto. So that means mainly greens, olives, avocados, oils, and like some chicken uh, for about three or four months. So um, and I've done extended fasts before. I've done a four day fast, which I will link for you guys here. I did a vlog about it. And I've also done a six day fast. Uh, so that's just drinking water for four and six days. So I'm into fasting. I like lifting weights and can't do that, but I can fast right now. So that's why I'm doing that in quarantine. Perhaps where you are living, the rules might not be as strict, but in Mexico, the rules just got stricter. They did not start to alleviate any rules. So we'll see how long this goes for. Yeah, so my first, my second week, so my first week was covered in like my video that I posted last week. The second week, and I was really sick in that week. My second week, I got adjusted, it was fine. It was really good, it was super easy. You get into a rhythm and you don't even realize, like you don't even, it's just like today's a fasting day. This, I'm feeling good. Uh, yesterday was an easy fast. I didn't feel hungry, wasn't irritated. Today I'm feeling really good, productive. So yeah, alternate week two of alternate day fasting is going great. Or you wake up and you don't even think about food. You're just like, okay, I'm just gonna go and start working or do whatever. Um, and you just go about your day. And then the next day, and then all my feeding days, yeah, it was super easy. I would make lots of, um, like really big salads, just kale, spinach, celery, avocados, oils, and olives, um, or like zucchini or whatever, and we just maybe have some chicken, some chicken on the side or whatever, or like egg mixed into it. I'm not a big fan of egg, but it's good. Um, it's good for. I have low blood pressure, so I need I need those uh, I need those vitamins and stuff. Yeah, second week went great. As you guys can see from the results that I got, like it was, it was great. And like, I'm not mainly doing this for body composition reasons, um, but obviously it's motivated by that because I can't lift weights right now. So it's kind of like, yeah, but it's not really, I don't feel restricted at all because on the days that I eat, I just eat normally. I track all of my calories and macros to make sure that I'm following ketosis and that I keep my carbs low, um, and it's about maintenance or just above maintenance, which is great. It's just that that's just my normal eating habits. But of course, I'm leaning out because that that maintenance calorie count is spread over 48 hours, 
And so it just gives a lot of flexibility about when you do eat, um, which is really great. And if you love eating, then, and if you if fasting works for you, like this is amazing. I highly suggest this like eating regime. And I did it initially. I started it thinking, oh, I'll just do it for 30 days while we're in quarantine, but I'm really enjoying it. So I might keep going with it. We'll see. And, um, if it impedes my ability to lift weights or if, I don't know, we'll see where the world is at. But anyways, week three though was very difficult. Um, yeah, so week three, I'm really happy with my results. And again, those are at the end. Or maybe, you know what, maybe I'll, maybe I'll pop up the results right now. And I love alternate day fasting because week three was very difficult because on day 15, I fasted for 24 hours. I didn't go my full 40 hours and my partner and I ordered takeout and we had tortillas and tacos and burritos and like all the guacamole and I was over my carb intake and I, we decided to treat ourselves. We'd been plant-based keto for like three or four months now. Ooh. We've been plant-based keto for like three or four months now and um, and then the next day was an eating day and we had leftovers and I was like, I was like, Oh my God, that food was so good. I really want more. And so the next day I had it and, um, it was kind of to the point where like I overate and I had only eaten dinner. So I didn't overeat for the day, but I overate the amount of food in a time period that like made me feel really bleh. And like for me, when you're in ketosis and then when you have all those carbs, like it really affects you. Um, you just, you feel really weighted. And for me, I have low blood pressure and you need a low carb diet to help monitor low blood pressure. Uh, and so for me, it was worth it, but I was in bed for three days because um, my body was just having a really hard time adjusting. Um, if you don't know, low blood pressure yeah, it's when your blood pressure is low, so you can faint easily, you black out easily, you're dizzy, um, you zone in and out. Like sometimes I, yeah, so it's just, <laughs> it wasn't fun. But then I just got right back on track. I had to deal with some pretty intense cravings for carbs, which was a result of eating carbs. So I was like craving cupcakes and cake and cookies and waffles and, um, and like KFC, I haven't eaten KFC in like over a decade. I haven't eaten KFC since I was like 15 years old and I'm 26 right now. Like I haven't eaten KFC in so long, I was craving it. I was like, what is going on with my body? <laughs> um, and, but like, this is why I really enjoy this diet because it's okay to have tons of carbs or like stray from your normal eating regime for a day or two. Uh, and I'm happy I did it back to back um, just to like get that fill. Cause like you eat it the next day and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that was really good, but I'm good now. Um, because then you just get back on track. And as you guys can see from my results, like it doesn't change anything. Like you still make progress. You still look great. Another thing that I really adore about alternate day fasting is the fact that I can have large meals and when you're fasting, you're so attuned to your body that you're able to have a large meal. Like you can, like, cause you're hungry you like make a large meal and you're like, yes, I'm so ready. I want to eat all this food. Like for me today, when I went to break my fast, I had like all these romaine lettuce tacos and a salad. And I was so excited, but then I, since I had been fasting and I started eating, like you are so attuned to your body. You're like, I am so full right now. And I ended up eating all the tacos cause I didn't want, cause they were warm. Like I'd cooked broccoli and Brussels sprouts. <laughs> it was so good. Um, with like olive oil, it was so delicious. I ate all those tacos. Um, but I was like, I don't think I can eat the salad. And it was like a very slow process. I was like, no, I can't. And I love, I love it because you can, you have the ability to eat tons of food. You can, but because you're attuned to your body, you don't. And sometimes when people first get into fasting, they can binge. That can happen. Uh, and I find that in my experience, like I carb loaded for like two days and I had cholesterol carbs. I found I got over eight the next day and I think it was 
I don't know, it might have been the type of food, it might have been because I hadn't had it for a few months, like there's a lot of factors. But like that's why to avoid like that binge, if I'm craving something, I'll eat it. So like if I only get through a 24 hour fast, but my partner and I decide we wanna have takeout, I'll eat. And then I'll just like eat the next day as well. I'm not gonna change anything, I'll just, but I'll listen to my body like, um, if I eat, break my fast after 24 hours instead of 40 hours, but then if I wake up the next morning and I'm not hungry, then I'm not going to eat again. And then like you eat dinner and then if you have dinner and it happens to be at nine, but you weren't hungry until that time, like that's fine. Like there's this certain flexibility with alternate day fasting that works really well. Or like my partner wanted to take some time off of work and like an extended couple days and I was like, okay, I want, obviously I want to be able to be that, be with, cause like I've, we both have very flexible online jobs. So I was like, okay, I want to be able to do that with you as well. So I'll extend my fasting period before and after so I can have a bigger eating window with you during those days that you take off. It's like having that flexibility and like having the ability to live your life in harmony with food rather than being controlled by food is I think a big reason why alternate day fasting is a very powerful like food it's just a very powerful way to have a healthy relationship with food and I have not had a healthy relationship with food for most of my life and this flexibility has really been transformative um, as you can see in my body but also for my relationship with food like you would think that you would wake up every day thinking about food but you don't um, obviously if you're new to fasting, even intermittent fasting, you might wake up thinking about it, but it's just like, a, it's just a hormone switch. Uh, it's just a, a switch in your routine. It's just getting used to it and it's totally doable. Yeah. So overall I'm loving alternate day fasting. My 21 day alternate day fasting thing has been amazing. And that's me eating like even on the days when I eat above maintenance, like um, and I eat a lot for that day and I feel so satisfied and when you feel so satisfied and when you're fasting you feel really attuned and like the next day fasting is so easy and the world is in a funny place so some people might think this eating regime is a bit funny but I thought I thought it was gonna be hard I thought I was only gonna be able to do it for 30 days but it's I love it it's going really well so I think I'll do it more um, and yeah, make sure that you subscribe so you can see how I do for 30 days. And I, if you guys want to see more meal ideas or whatever, just let me know. And so thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure that you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be also grateful. And I'll see you guys in my next video.